YouTube's AI insights for creators will help you get over the question of, what video do I even create next? And give you guidance and direction to choosing the right video topic idea. Kill procrastination and indecisiveness. It's coming in 2024. And there's also something you can take advantage of soon before that gets released. This is all part of a series about all of the announcements made from Made on YouTube, where I was on the ground talking to the teams developing these products. You can check the playlist link for more breakdowns about what's coming in 2024. Okay, so AI Insights, and it's actually just called Insights, but I'm adding the AI for your benefit, is my favorite announcement from Made on YouTube because I'm a practical girl, and this is potentially brilliant. One of the biggest questions my viewers and especially students inside of our program struggle with is that question, what videos to create? Topics are many. Your knowledge, your experience, your stories, you have all the things that you could talk about, but what do you actually talk about? What would be good? What would viewers want? What's the right choice? And that question of the right choice will get you stuck. I've seen it time and time and time again. By the way, I have a free download with five hacks to grow your YouTube channel. And one of the hacks actually helps answer the question around finding good video topics right now, instead of waiting on AI insights to be released in 2024, that link is in the description. So go grab that. Insights will give you more personalized video ideas based on your current audience and what they're already watching. And so what types of video topics could you create that would appeal to your audience? That is the problem that Insights is solving. It takes the guesswork out of the process and removes friction to creating content faster. In this example that they gave during the Made On event, and if you're creating a travel video, you could literally just type Portugal because that's where this travel is occurring. It's going to give you ideas and show you what people are watching so that you can get inspiration, not copy, inspiration, and even help you out with an outline. Now, you could go further and dive deeper by not just going Portugal, but maybe that's where you start and then you see an idea and you take it a little further and then you input Portugal history or Portugal a specific place, right? And so you can take that information that it's giving you, dive deeper and deeper and deeper and get to something that feels really right for you and your channel. You're basically gonna use it to kickstart the process, make it easy and add your own knowledge and magic. Now, for some of my past videos, and maybe you've done the same, we've used ChatGPT or similar to really to help craft a video and its outline, or I did this with my five day challenge recently, right? So that is something that we are all already starting to use in order to kickstart that process. Now you add on the ChatGPT idea put that directly into YouTube where it's smart enough to understand what people are already searching for. It sees your videos and more personalized information. That's going to be a more powerful form of the use of AI than it is even now with ChatGPT. Of course, never, ever, 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 ever copy paste AI. Do not use it to create a script. I want you to use it to kickstart it, make it easier and add your own knowledge and magic on top of what any AI platform gives you. Now, reality check here. I talked in depth to the teams building this product and like everything to start, it'll be good at the beginning. I am expecting it to be actually pretty helpful to get rid of procrastination and just get going and just make the next right decision, not the right decision, which holds so much weight. And as they gather more data and creators like you and I use it more, it's gonna get even better over time. Now, specifically, what I'm being told is that the amount of personalization to you and your content could actually improve over time. Here are some examples of things that we talked about that I was requesting, not being promised yet, but uh, my requests are make insights understand what my video format is. So I'm not getting recommendations of a 
totally different style of video. For example, tutorial versus vlog, very different styles of video and formats. So have it understand what my intention is when I'm doing these searches so that I am seeing the results of similar types of videos. Also have it understand the length and the personality style and other factors that would really enhance my results using the tool. And, all right, here's my ultimate request. I gave this to the team building the product. Let me tell you, YouTube, my avatar or my ideal audience, let me input that info into insights just as I can with ChatGPT and then mix the info. Uh, the combo would be perfect of me telling you who I actually want to reach so that I am growing the right audience for my products and services together with YouTube's algorithm and discovery information that knows my audience better than I do and is built to actually find the right audience for that video. Let me trust the platform and trust my own desires at the same time, mix that together and mind blown. Now, while I asked the team for that, I'm not sure they know how to actually build that combo yet, so they were at least intrigued by the idea, so I'm just gonna keep the hope alive. <laughs> by the way, this is a 2024 release, but they do have something right now called the Research tab in YouTube Studio. If you're not using that, if you haven't even looked into it, I would highly recommend you start with the Research tab. Now, as I talked to the team about it, I actually found out they're making an improvement to it that I think will benefit you if you're a smaller channel because the smaller channels aren't finding the research tab very useful right now because it doesn't actually have enough data on your videos and your audience for it to actually be super helpful. What they're doing now is improving that research tab for smaller channels to include data from the whole of YouTube versus only your channel so that at least it gives you some more direction. And that'll be something that you can start to take advantage of very soon and I would really encourage you to use that for discovery of topic ideas until we get AI insights which will take it to the next level well like four levels up watch this video on YouTube create next which is the mobile editing app I'm gonna demo it and show you what changes are coming and then this playlist has all of the breakdowns and all of the information about 2024 announcements